all days. Me but it's but like at because I work at two jobs. One of my jobs, when I told them this, they immediately like the people who were who you know I told this to because they were trying to give me gifts. They went, well, take that back. She was this uh, one driver. She was trying to give me uh, um, it was something I forgot what holiday. I don't know. I want to say, I want to say, whatever it was. It wasn't Christmas. I remember it being before. And um, and I was like, oh, I thought she was just being nice, handing out things for the drivers I was, or for the team, for our team. And I was like, oh, thank you. She was like, well, this is for, I want to say Thanksgiving. She was like, well, yeah, this is your early Thanksgiving. And I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't accept this. And I gave it back to her. I said, I don't celebrate any holidays. And it's like, everybody started treating me so differently. And at first I thought I was tripping. And I was like, maybe I'm just tripping. And I started, you know, me, I take a Hey, people, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to another episode, another reaction. Uh, I'm your host, Full Sucker 420, and I got my got my homie with me, my homie lover friend. Well, maybe not lover, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Plum. Her name. I'm Plum. You don't see me busy looking down. Normally, I'd be working, but today I'm just working on um, business plans. Right on, so. right on. I was just got through, you know, eating some uh, crab legs and some some clams and some uh, not cl yeah clams yeah clams and although I'm glad I caught them when I did because when I was growing uh, and I saw those little imprints of the of the um the peer the um you know the little things that's inside them the pear the you know the damn things wait what are you talking about the clap wait the clams the clams oh clams I'm saying crab legs yeah they got pearls too pearls that's what it, pearls they got pearls too. And you guys see the imprint where the uh, pearls was at. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. They were cool. baby. They were like baby cram uh, clams to me. They wasn't. Really I never had them. You should try it, man. I mean, uh -uh. no, I'm, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you. You gotta try. It. You gotta try them, though, man. You got to try it. They're pretty. They're good as hell, though. You just gotta try them. All right, but back what I was saying. Okay, we this reaction. I now this one. I saw a little uh, uh, snippet of it, but I didn't, you know, watch it, watch it fully, though. You know what I'm saying? Because what I'm about to show y'all is some bullshit, though. You know what I'm saying? What I'm about to show y'all is some shit that motherfuckers should not even answer, happen in the first place. Now, here's the thing, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have anything against religion because it never really did anything to me because it's a, it's a, it's an inanimate object, though. You says having your power until somebody gets behind them. However, it's the motherfuckers who was in these religions take that shit too far. That's what and any belief. I'm talking about religion, period. I'm not, I'm not, you know, just, uh, dicing this. No, I'm just not like, that's in, no, any belief. Whether it's religion or something else you are passionate about. Right, I understand that. But in this case, she was, she was passionate, all right? For the wrong shit, her and her fucking husband, little balling bastard. <laughs> but um, I'm not like I said. I, I'm not going. Their religion doesn't really matter at this moment. It's the narcissist and the boat and the sociopathy that that matters in this video, though. You know what I'm saying? And dude, she is. You know what? Y'all just gonna watch and see, though. You know what I'm saying? This reaction video will probably go a little long, but because this is an almost an hour video, and of course. YouTube, I have to sign and talk to it because I get copyright <laughs> infringements and blah, 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 blah. And this is a commentary. Yeah, exactly. This is a commentary because we we picked we picked these uh, videos, but we most time we never really seen them. I never. Really he seen picked them. it. I'm surprised at what we get. So, but she gave, but she gave me the I idea. Give, yeah. About. A certain, a similar video, a but we could yeah. a similar topic, but we couldn't find it though. You know what I'm saying? It's nowhere in sight in YouTube. So these bitches are the next best thing. That's worst thing. That's best. <laughs> no, they're the next best worst thing. I've never heard of this situation, this story, or even this person. So right, I'm in for. This is my first time in for a shock, I guess. And I'm telling you, it's a shock though. Now all I can say is, you know, nobody. Ricardo Wimble. Nobody really died in this, but it might as well. Shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get this started and tell me what y'all think. Tell us what y'all think. 
Bush was born April 3rd, 1981, and grew up in a town three hours south of Atlanta, Georgia. Throughout his early years, he would receive multiple awards for his talents playing football, and would go on to attend Georgia Tech, starring as a linebacker for the Yellow Jackets, where he received many sporting... I'm sorry, people. Watching shit like this, I gotta hit a joint, though. You gotta hit a joint anyway. Exactly. I was going it doesn't even matter what you're watching. Yeah, this is my, this is my after food uh, joint, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're so silly. Don't don't let this be an excuse why you're hitting a joint. You do that hey, all the time. Called, hey, if it wasn't for weed, motherfuckers' heads would have been locked off a long time ago, man. Oh, goodness. I get gotta you got to learn to control yourself. Oh, I can control myself. Obviously, I've never been in prison, so I know how to control myself. Mm, I don't mean, been, I don't mean never, that. You know, I never committed a crime. I never, you know, did any DV or SA or none of that bullshit. So oh. I know how to control <laughs> myself. Let's just be real about that. I know how to control myself. It's just some of these people, oh my goodness, man. You just want to just cock your fist back and just rock. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess your emotions, you know? But I don't do that. I, I can just do it in my head. Anything I do in my head doesn't doesn't come in reality. So obviously it never happened. You know, I, I, I can always think hey. about it. Though. Yeah, <laughs> but let's continue. And listen, dude, he he had a lot of things more. And this guy right here, that's her that's her husband. He had a lot going for himself though before he met this bitch. <laughs> but let's continue accolades. During his four-year career at Tech, Ricardo had met his wife, Therian Wembush, in August of 1999. Therian Wembush was studying mechanical engineering at Georgia Tech and was a few years older than Ricardo. On top of her studies, she would tutor other students and athletes on many different subjects and was regarded as one of the brightest in her class. You know, if you didn't know who she really was, if she'd never done this before, you'd be thinking, she actually not bad looking though, you know what I'm saying? She got little thick thighs and you know what I'm saying? She because Matt tutor on her shirt, so they caught me. I was like, Oh, she's smart. Yeah, yeah she yeah, she's intelligent. You'd be thinking like, man, she's intelligent, she she's smart, she got a lot going for herself. And, oh goodness, I guess she's the bad guy. Is she the bad guy in this one? Well, you just gotta watch it. Oh goodness. You gotta watch it and find out. <laughs> The two got married and would go on to have a large family of 10 children. Oh, she's pretty After graduating from tech, Ricardo obtained a job in a railroad to support the family, whilst his wife Therian homeschooled the children. The family lived in a large five-bedroom. She had a good job, though, the railroad? He seems happy. Do you know how many people can't get hired? You know, the, the best engineers can never... Can, I see engineers that's on top, on the top, can't even get hired. At the railroad, though, you know what I'm saying? She made it, though. Well, oh, goodness. You make me nervous. I'm like, what did she do? <laughs> Don't get ahead of me now. Don't get ahead of me. Don't get ahead of me. So just... <laughs> house in Buford, Georgia, and were known to be incredibly religious, as both Therian and Ricardo were members of the strict movement called the Way of Yah. A neighbor of theirs had said in an interview, quote, they were a very odd family. All the children were nicely dressed, but never allowed to be sociable. You would never see the children outside playing unless they were out as an entire family and both parents were watching. They seemed like strict disciplinarians. They didn't celebrate Christmas or Halloween. If a child in the area knocked on their door for trick or treat, they would be handed a Bible instead of candy. One time they had a note on the door that blew into my- Look, what makes them what makes them what makes them weird or different because they don't people and you know I'm gonna step on this because I don't celebrate holidays. Me I don't celebrate any holidays. Me but it's but like because I work at two jobs, one of my jobs when I told them this, they immediately like the people who were who you know I told this to because they were trying to give me gifts. They went, well, take that back. She was this uh, one driver. She was trying to give me um, it was something I forgot what holiday. I don't know. I want to say. I want to say, whatever it was, it wasn't Christmas. Because I remember it being before. And um, and I was like, oh, I thought she was just being nice handing out things for the drivers, I was, or for the team, for our team. And I was like, oh, thank you. She was like, well, this is for, I want to say Thanksgiving. She was like, well, yeah, this is your early Thanksgiving. And I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't accept this. And I gave it back to her. I said, I don't celebrate any holidays. And it's like, everybody started treating me so differently. And at first I thought I was tripping. 
And I was like, maybe I'm just tripping. And I started, you know, me, I take a step back and I look and I, I look at how things are going, you know, the, the days and the weeks and the months after that. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, so I'm not tripping. Y'all just treat me like I'm the crazy one because I don't celebrate what y'all celebrate. You know, I didn't right. say anything, but after that, um, it just, it, it went from, it went from that to just crazy stuff. They started rumors saying that I was sleeping with someone's husband. The dude showed me to text himself. And I was like, tell your wife, because she was showing her insecurities. I said, tell your wife that I don't want you nor anybody else. I'm I'm here to come up here to work and go home. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe I'm high right now. That's a kick thing yet. Or maybe he said, I, I, I can't tell. You mean to tell me they did all this bullshit? It was because, yeah. because you don't want to celebrate no fucking holidays. I don't know the. I I know wow. when they started acting different towards me, they already would like not really speak, which is fine, okay? Because you know, and then but when you know that particular when I said that, that's when they they would literally have team meetings, and I remember one day in particular they had a team meeting, and it was in front of my bus. And then I didn't know what was going on until someone came to us. So another person from another team said, you know, you're having a team meeting right there. I get off my bus to go attend the team meeting. They walked, as I was getting ready to get my, as I was getting my stuff to get off the bus, they moved from my front of my bus to a couple buses over and they were still holding the meeting. So by the time I got off my bus to get there, the meeting was over with. Wow. Yes. And I was like, okay. Wow. I remember, yeah. So at first I was like, well, maybe it was about, because I know those played a, a, like a Christmas party or Christmas dinner or something for mm. um, the supervisor for that team. I was like, well, think well, maybe it was for that and they know how to celebrate. So I was like, all right. So I just, whatever. And then to come to find out, it was something I needed to know because it was regarding the team at for the school, you know, for when we got to the school. And I was like, well, because another guy was like, you know, we were supposed to do X, Y, and Z. And I said, well, no one told me. She was like, yeah, I was in that meeting. I was like, the one I, I wasn't invited to, I didn't know nothing about. You know, she was like, well, and, you know, and I was like, it's cool. Oh. And I, I noticed how they will treat me. They treated me and this other girl the same. And um, like you can tell that she didn't celebrate anything either because her nationality and all that. And so she didn't celebrate anything. And they treated us, they, they treated us identical and it's sad that people who don't celebrate are treated as if we're the aliens you know what i'm saying right i mean to be honest with you though even as a little kid i really did not like celebrate holidays and i used to and i my first breast of envy was when um i was in grammar school i was in second grade there was doing this stupid ass christmas pageant or something shit like that and i see this one girl this one sister Little sister, you know what I'm saying? And you know, her and this other dude go and sit out. They don't have to do the uh they didn't have to do the uh Christmas pest. And yeah. that's and that's my first that was my first brush with envy because I'm like, dude, I want to sit out too. I don't want to I don't want to do this bullshit. I want to sit out too. And I was yeah, like, it's and crazy. Then, and I asked one the, I asked him, and I was like, hey, I had a question for you. How come you? How come you get to sit out a Christmas presents and all this and everything they here? I want to do that too. I want to sit. I want to sit out too. No, I said I told you. I wish. I was yeah. like, I don't, don't want to do none of this bullshit. I don't celebrate Easter. I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't. I don't like celebrate none of this bullshit. Yeah, and and I don't like, think people. I don't think they understand. Right. Like, so, regardless of what your reason is or not, I don't think right. they understand of how can you not. Right. You know? And um, I went to where you know, because I'm, I'm gonna go to the source. To that I said I ain't gonna be. Hey, by the way, hey, what about stuff? What's up with that girl? And how come she gets to tell it? How come she don't get presents and stuff? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go directly to the source. And I'm gonna ask them. I'll say, "Hey, Rashonda, I had a question for you." Her name was Rashonda, by the way. I was like, "I had a question for you. How come you get to sit out all these passes and you don't celebrate? You don't get any like pre- presents or anything like that?" And then that's why I first heard of uh, Jehovah Witnesses. That they be confusing me with them, and I'm like, I'm not a Jehovah Witness, right? I mean, I that, like, that because I don't celebrate, that does not make me automatically, oh, I'm a Jehovah Witness. Right. Ooh. And let's like say that's my first time he- hearing about Jehovah's Witnesses. And I was like, what's that? He was, uh, and I asked, I said, what's, what's, a, what's a Jehovah's Witness? And she was like, she explained to me, like, basically, Jehovah's Witnesses, those who went, went for the God named Jehovah, 
and they they had 144,000 uh, that goes up to heaven and all this other good shit, right? And she was very really articulate for for someone that's a sec- what's the second grade, though. You know what I'm saying? Probably and raising it, that. Yeah, she was a yeah. Her mom's a Jehovah's Witness. Her dad. Was oh, well, there you Christian. go. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, know, you. I didn't know what the word articulate meant, but she was that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, how you get into that? She's like, well, my my parents was in it too, so my mom was in it. You know what I'm saying? And then by by tether of her being my mother, I'm a Jehovah's Witness as well. I'm like, oh, oh, you mean like, uh, cause I heard about, I, cause that's the time, uh, why you know with Michael Jackson or. You know, there, yeah. you know, his videos and stuff like that. And he was like, he, one day I seen a video with him, him, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Taylor, and uh, 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 what was somebody else with them too? But there was like, you know, going like have little onesies on, and I didn't realize that was they still made uh, adult onesies, had little onesies on, had the little curious ass and stuff like that. I was like, this dude is 30 something years old, he's a big ass kid. And then growing up, I understand why he did that. His parents are Jehovah's Witnesses. And by wow. and by tether, so are they. Wow. Janet, Reby, uh, Latoy, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh. So I'm like, so that's why he's doing this because he never really had any fucking childhood. And I should have known when I got yeah. older and I watched that, I watched that Michael Jackson movie. I should have knew something was something because I don't see no Christmas decorations. I, I didn't know that they that. were. Are they really? Yeah, they're Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they never celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, none of that. I mean, they yeah. did things on that day, but it was no celebration for Christmas. It's just a regular Thursday, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, right. I mean, that's why I, I was kind of fascinated with them at one time or another, though, because I'm like, damn, yeah, you know, we got something. I did, but then they're. Out of everything you, out of everything you think is cool, there's always something that will change your mind real quick. God damn it. Yeah. And what changed my mind? That what changed my mind about being a Jehovah Witness is like, nah, fuck that. Y'all got too many fucking rules, man. You mean to tell me I can't do this, that, this, that, this, that, the other? I like to have fun. I want to be natural. I want to be, you no, know, do what to do though. You know what I'm saying? I cannot be constrained like that though. So I'm like, you know what? Hey. I respect you, but I'm gonna bow out. So. Yeah, that's a. I mean, I feel like that's the best thing to do is to just respect. Yeah. The, I you mean, know, you know, and then just leave it alone. You're just different. You're just different people. Right. I mean, it's not for I, you. It's not for you. That's that's right. how I look at it. You know, and right. with you know, I I'm not a Jehovah Witness. I hate that people confuse me with a Jehovah Witness because, uh, because you know, and I think they do that because of how I carry myself too. You know, I'm not. I'm not in the drama. I'm not right. in the mess. But they find the drama in the mess finds me, you know. But I'm not in the drama and I'm not in the mess. And I'm, you know, I'm always bubbly, happy go lucky, and all that. Right. I'm very positive. I'm very positive. But then I throw in, oh, I don't celebrate, you know. And I think people, like I mentioned before, I don't think they understand that concept because right. I told like this one one lady, you know, I was like, yeah, I don't celebrate Christmas. Came around. I was like, no, I don't celebrate Christmas. She was like, oh, okay. Uh, so she was doing something for the baby and all that. And then so she was like, okay. Then then <laughs> yesterday she was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this little thing for Valentine's Day and I'll put your baby in the middle. And I'm like, no, no. What part of I don't celebrate holidays do you? And not that understand? and that that's when it sunk in again because it's like a repeat. Is is that's when it sunk in again? It's like. I, I know we had this full a full blown conversation about me not celebrating any holidays, but right. okay, you know. And it's like is is I don't think they understand the concept of not. They be like any holidays, any none of them, you know. And so, but anyway, so and I, and I hate that they were labeled as weird and they threw that in there because this family doesn't celebrate right any I holidays, just, and is that sad? That doesn't I mean, make them weird. I get that because when I tell people I don't believe in no kind of religion whatsoever, I yeah. believe in what you call true spirituality, be shit that was there uh-huh. before, 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 before. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They say they all they automatically say, "Oh, you don't believe in religion," and I also tell them, "Like, look, I respect the fact that you believe in a deity, but as far as I'm concerned, those deities don't exist like the way you say them." You know what I'm saying? 
the you no know, the disease is just the way you know what it is. It's basically yeah. since there's an infancy and the universe is going around, each universe have a watcher, if you will. No, you know what I'm saying? But just don't think that's the only watcher that's around, though. There's this one, this one, yeah. this one, this one, and it keeps going forever, though. We're just all everyone's gonna have their own different beliefs and their own right. way of looking at life. I think right. I just think the best thing is to just respect each other behind it. Like me, I don't do religion, but I do I, I know I'm a child of God. You know what right. I'm saying? And I know and I said what and that's what I go by. I go by like I go by the Bible and all that. And so I try my best to continue to stay stick with it. And I know who I am. You know what right. I'm saying? I know all of that. And I think people get that mixed up by being blindsided with their own beliefs you know and people take it and turn it into whatever they want to turn it to without actually listening or hearing what it is i do believe and if they're real you know it just you know like you have your own beliefs and you have your own what you believe in and i have my right. own we're very different about that we have different you know feelings about that but at the end of the day it's about respect you see what i'm saying right and so, I mean, and and but these people, like going back to this this the video here, and I just I I it just irks me when their neighbors want to call them weird or different or whatever because you know they don't celebrate but just because they're not a cookie cutter just like them you know right. want to celebrate holidays that's to me it's so stupid it's petty right it's now I put it like this <laughs> if I didn't know what they did what they did. I would actually agree everything. I would actually agree with everything they're doing. Why the fuck do I need to socialize with you for? Why do I need to look? I'm, I'm teaching my children a certain way. I don't yeah. want you corrupted that certain way because your certain way may not be something that they would even be hit, believe in in the first place. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I say That's this. That's true. That is and, true. And I say this. See, my my whole philosophy is this. I'm not gonna change nobody else's narrative to fit my own. And I expect the same respect at the vice yeah. versa too, as well. Yeah. Unless, yeah. unless, see, that's not absolute though. Unless it's a it's a determination that uh, unless it's who will fuck your life up, then you can say something. Then you can say, "Hey, oh, oh, yeah, now nah, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you, bro," because yeah. you know what it is. Because, like, say, say your home, say your homegirls are crack here, right? You don't know, sit there. Allowed them to smoke crack, 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 crack all over again, and then fuck their life up. You can't accept. You can't uh, accept yeah. that. That's you not have your to, friend. Yeah, yeah, you have to say something. You have to say, "Hey, you know, you fucking up, man. You really fucking up, man." And the reason why you fucking up because you're doing this bullshit, right? Get rid of this shit right here. I cannot sit here and watch you destroy your fucking self because that's gonna be on me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, what kind of friend will I be if I tell you? If, well. You know, I think you're right to do this. No, I'll be the most fucked up person in the world, though, man. She. <laughs> but just uh, don't talk about my weed, though, because we weed, weed never did anything to me, except for it relax me. <laughs> That's so silly. All right, let's continue. A yard which read, those who work on Sunday should be put to death, end quote. The homeschooled children who didn't have much to do with the outer world still had many forms of this stimulation and entertainment in their house. They had an abundance of books, toys, movies, and even an entire room dedicated to Lego. The siblings all played together and were very close with one another. Nine of the children all slept in the master bedroom that had nine individual beds, and the parents slept in a separate room with their newborn child. At some point during 2014, an anonymous call was placed alerting authorities that a child was being held captive in the basement of the house. Upon investigation, the Wimbush's eldest son, Ricardo Jr., was found in a locked closet downstairs, and another one of their sons, Isaiah, was suffering from an enormous skin cancer tumour which had been growing on his abdomen for years. This led to the parents losing custody over all of their children and facing charges for cruelty, neglect, and abuse. In the trial for these crimes, the parents elected to represent themselves over a state-appointed defense attorney. That's where they fucked up, man. Right there, man. Hey, oh my goodness. Only a fool would have themselves as a as a only as a what's it say? As a only a fool would have themselves as a client. Though, you know what I'm saying? They probably felt that no one else would understand them, and the person they they got wouldn't understand them, 
and that they can probably better explain it themselves, which I kind of get, but I hate that they did it that way, though. Yeah, because they fucked up, man, because some fed man. I wonder, there's only a very few motherfuckers who actually asked that, asked, asked that their own lawyer actually won their cases. I, I can count it in my hand. I can help. I can count both of my hands, both of my, all my body parts, all my everything, and I'll still have body parts and fingers left over, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I'm just saying, though, man. Dude. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm nervous about how this is gonna turn out. I wonder uh, why they had him locked up. So, oh. Well, oh. I mean, we just gotta watch and see. Let's let's continue. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to first tell you that I am not an attorney, and just like David, that ruddy little Hebrew shepherd boy, when he went up against Goliath, refused King Saul's armor because he had not tested it. I do not seek to put on the, the mantle of an attorney. I'm just like all of you, a lay person. The only difference is that I'm accused of a crime and you are not. Or that I am dressed in Gwinnett County Jail issue greens and you are dressed in regular clothes. It is easier to believe a lie than it is to believe the truth. Let me say that again. Okay, you know what? <laughs> that part is true. I would have to admit. I would have to admit. She I'm is nervous. highly. She's very highly intelligent. I can tell that. Oh, but, goodness. but here's the thing, though. If you have, uh, if you have a disturbing of the spirit, though, you know what I'm saying. You could tell the, of the shadow that's around her. There's something not quite there. Is this the same? Is this the wife? Yeah, just the wife. Same one from the picture. Mm-hmm. She looks different. Maybe she lost weight. Oh, she probably she, lost weight. Yeah, she do. You look anybody lose weight in jail. That's that is true. That food that sucks. That is true. <laughs> Dude, I went on a why was a why was it why was it a county jail for three days? <laughs> no, for real though. Why was it in a county jail for three days, dude? I went on a liquid fast, bro. Seriously, I went on a thick, I went on a liquid fast for three days, man, because I would not eat that bullshit. The prison I worked at on the food truck, it came with the food truck that came in, it was labeled like it said the food is not meant for human consumption. Yeah, I see that shit. I see that shit. Like, what the and, fuck? like what one of one of my inmates had pointed it out and I was like, no uh food truck came in. I was like, uh? Yeah, for real, no bullshit. I see that shit. That's why I went on that three day water, man. My goodness, it's not funny. <laughs> no, <coughs> she lost a yeah. lot of. Yeah, she did. She must, she must have lost his way before she went to jail because that was a lot. Well, I mean, could be, but or or they could uh, lost in jail because, like I said, who really would eat that three. bullshit? It was huh? a good solid three, at least in those pictures. At least a good solid three. Right, she wasn't, you know, she wasn't that. She, she's not that tall either. So. She, I know that's what I'm saying. She hasn't been a good solid three. Could be, but you know, she did look like she kind of lift weights, though. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no lifting weights. Those were not lifting weights. No, I'm saying yeah. she looked like she did lift weights, or what was she like, or. She can lift. She can lift uh, turkey legs, though. You know what I'm saying? And kick cat. I, I, I like a good. I like a good smoked turkey leg. <laughs> I bet you do, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Especially from turkey oh, legs. I, I ain't love. never had it. I don't. I don't. Oh like it. man, I'm you, not going there. I'm not oh, going. It's actually, right. it's actually pretty cool down there, though. You know what I'm saying? No, so it was a comment they made and what they did, and I was like, you know what? I'm not. What do you do? Now I'll tell you that off there. I'm not gonna. I'm not, right. I'm not going to, you know. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right, let's continue. To believe a lie than it is to believe the truth. So let's talk about the lie on paper. We have in no way caused either of our 10 biological children <coughs> to an excessive mental nor physical pain. So now I have a mission for each of you. Look to your inner childlike spirit and treat this trial like a scavenger hunt where you are the fact finders, even the truth seekers, 
seeking to find the pieces to the puzzle that describes cruelty to children, and I will ask you to return a verdict of not guilty. Before I close, I'd like to address uh, the opening statement by the state. He gave you a description of our life. Definitely our homeschooling parents. I'm trying to think of everything that he said. He was telling our story. All of our children um, share one bedroom, the master bedroom. And I'll tell you, the state is correct. But at some point, Ricardo decided that his room would be in the basement. Did his parents send him down there to stay? No, they didn't. He made a choice. And that choice was his. Was he forced to stay in a room without social interaction or without mental stimulation? No, he wasn't. But Ricardo was disobedient in some ways. In those ways, I'll let him tell you. I'll let him tell you his story. I'll let him tell you his facts, his justifications, his reasonings, so that you can decide. Thank you. Throughout this trial, Wow. Okay, I get the Ooh. basement part. Okay, I'm still, I, I don't know where I stand yet, but I get, because not, my oldest, okay, so, because it looks like he was the Ooh. oldest.